All right, so now let's look at some basic elevation drills from uh, seated versus kneeling uh, opponent. Okay. You can go, you can elevate your partner in many different grips. Okay, we're gonna go over grip fighting strategies uh, in a second. The most important thing is that we have sticky hooks and that when we go to elevate our partner, we have, we have our hips as close as possible to our partner's hips. Okay, so we scoot in and we're in like so. Now, when I go to elevate my partner, whichever grips I'm gonna use, we'll talk about grip fighting strategies in a second. Whichever grips I go to use from here, I wanna to look to start falling down towards my back as I'm lifting slightly with my arms, but what pulls my partner in really it's just, it's just the fact that I have my knees constantly coming into my chest to create that concave position. What I can't do is start here, and then as I fall, have my knees separate away from my chest so that my lower back hits the floor. What I want is to have my knees into my chest so that as I fall, my lower back touches and then elevates. Touches and then elevates. If my knees fall away from my chest, my lower back touches, and now I can't get my bottom part of the spine into that concave position. So as I go to elevate my partner, I have to make sure that my knees stay in towards my chest. So that now I scoot my hips forward, I pull my partner in at the upper body, and as I pull her in, my knees follow me up like so. Then I bring my knees to my chest, I forward shift, and now we scoot back in once again. And as we scoot, we're looking to get our center of gravity, which is two inches below the belly button, underneath our partner's center of gravity, two inches below the belly button. As I do this, I scoot in, and notice my knees don't drastically move away from my chest. There's no this. As I scoot in, my knees follow as we go. So we're far away from our partner, we scoot in, and we go. We're far away from our partner, we scoot in, and we go. So it's a scoot first, whether, no matter what grip you're using, and then as I scoot, I lift. Now I sit her back up by doing a forward shift, and we're up and in. Okay, so that's the basic idea of elevating your partner, you need to have sticky hooks, so you can lock in and scoot forwards and backwards, and so your partner doesn't hip switch or beat you as soon as you elevate them. You need to get your hips underneath your partners as you fall into this rocking chair position with your spine, so you can get your partner rocking back and forth relatively easy.